Let's look into Navel Gallimore. He did gain weight during the offseason, so he was 6'2", 303 pounds. Now he's more so like 6'2", 320 pounds, give or take. Nevertheless, some of the things that Navel needed to work on is disengaging and getting upfield, speed to power, and just keeping his feet moving and we're going to look at his tape from last season he had a sack and a half he created eight pressures and on top of that he only played 164 snaps and you see this bull rush Navel line up at zero and he just destroys everybody in the middle of the field he knocked the quarterback out as well in this game and that pressure is something real let's look back at it and we can see that Navel Gallimore he wins by getting his hands inside and keeping the feet moving this is him lined up at zero let's look into this right here he pushes everything back make the quarterback his baby and then he flex on him yeah <laughs> he hurt everyone they put the backup quarterback in and the backup quarterback say i don't want nothing to do with navel gallimore and he causes this incomplete pass right here he forces everything that's pressure you want to be able to create pressure, especially from the inside. Now, on this play, he lined up more as the three tech. Watch how he squeezes inside, squeezes right inside and causes his quarterback to, to throw his ball away. Those are things that we look at. Those are things that we really want out of a defensive tackle. Now, coming down to make sure he close off the running lane. That's pretty good on this play. Let's look at it again. Get his shoulders inside. Knife right in there. And one of the things that you always want your DT to do is get skinny. And he's able to knife right in there, get skinny, fight through the hole, and make the tackle there. That's fantastic. Impressive. Getting upfield, not playing around with his food, and also shutting down the run on his play. Now, here's the thing. The Cowboys were ranked 23rd against the run. So that is an area where they need to improve on. And keep in mind, when you're a big boy like this, 96, Navel, watch how they hold him. They're going to try to hold him, and he's still able to get off of it. And that's very important. Look at the hold. You're going to get held in the National Football League. Look how you got to fight through that, keep his legs moving. Don't look for the officials to save you, and you make the tackle. Still get upfield. The Cowboys need to make sure that every play is accounted for and when i'm talking about disengaging right you never want your big boy to play around with his food and especially on this play he played around more of a covered sack no open receiver and if you look back at everything hand fighting if you go back to what he's training and working on disengaging and getting up field look he gets up there watch how he gets pad levels a little too high still and when you have your pad levels high they give you a clear target right here for the inside. And on top of that, if he stayed low, if he stayed low and went and penetrated, he wouldn't have time to dance around. So this is a lot of dancing around, a lot of hand placing. And this particular guy got his hands inside, which is which is a situation where he actually won. And the quarterback got pressure and is pretty much nowhere for the quarterback to throw the ball. He got Parsons. He got 93 who had the sack. And then they gave Navel Gallimore a half of a sack off of that play. Now, when we start talking about disengaging, that is why it's so important to use your hands, keep your body small, get skinny, and using all of your athleticism and keeping your feet moving. So I'm looking at Navel Gallimore going into another year making sure that he utilize his hands making sure that he keep his feet moving and if he gain a little weight i look at the cowboys using him more as a one tech versus the three tech now granted with his skill set he got the ability to play three and one i even seen him line up on the edge so the cowboys got a unique situation with navel gallimore I would love for the Cowboys to rotate this, and we would like to see Navel Gallimore get more than 164 snaps, right? It's a war of attrition. He got to stay healthy, and then on top of that, he got to bring some production. As he continued to elevate his craft, the Cowboys better make sure that they know who they got. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. That's Navel Gallimore. The offseason is long, and let's see if he's ready for this training camp and beyond that's been my time i really thank you all for yours and remember you're listening to nothing but the best go cowboys outstanding